Hey guys, it's Pickles. Welcome to another history video. Today we are going to dive into the history of Onion. He was a recent super competitive and legit racer about a year ago. I hope you enjoy and shout out to him for making this video possible. His channel will be in the description. Thanks for watching and as always enjoy the video. Start of account and start of grinding. I created my account on March 22, 2017, in the middle of school. Because of the large addition of computers and digital learning to my school, we had a few class periods where we all did was play Nitrotype. I also had one friend in my school who liked to grind Nitrotype. However, I didn't have much free time during this period. So I was only able to accumulate around 4,000 races in two years. After my friend left the school, I stopped thinking about measure type. I had completely forgotten about the game. However, being extremely bored with other games during quarantine, I suddenly remembered all the fun I used to have playing the game. So, in November 2020, after over one and a half years of inactivity, I decided to play measure type again. Grinding before the individual leaderboards were taken away. When I started Nitrotype again, there were two weeks left in season 28. I wasn't that experienced and I had a family trip planned soon. So I ended around 600th. When I learned that the leaderboards were going to be taken away, I was very annoyed. I knew that season 30 would be my last chance to see myself on those leaderboards. I tried many times this season to get the session over 200 races, which I had never done before. However, after a month of my session record was still something I had accomplished on March of 2018, around 150 races. One day in mid-December, I kept my session alive throughout online school and the entire day. I made it to 624 races in one session. I absolutely smashed my record. By midway through season 30, I was around 60th place. I told myself that I needed to get to the top 50. I planned a New Year's to be the day where I get my first 1k race session and to get to the top 50. However, a few days after Christmas of 2020, there was a huge band wave. I moved up from 55th place to 24th place. Throughout the day, a few more accounts were banned and I was top 20th. Throughout the rest of the season, I moved up to 18th place. On the last night of the season, I was in 17th place, and I only needed 200 races to get to 16th. 15th place was much further out of my reach, so I could only go for 16th. Anyways, Legend was in 16th, and he couldn't race until the morning. NT had recently changed the end date of the season from January 8th to January 12th. Legend convinced me when I was still around 150 races away to stop racing because it was late and the season would continue after another four days. I hadn't re realized that this change had occurred in the visuals of NT. I decided to get a good night's sleep and continue my quest for 16th place in the morning. In the morning, I discovered that I was passed by the person in 18th place and I was now in 18th place, but I was still only need 150 more races than Legend to pass him. After around 200 races, I checked the leaderboards, only to find that I was still 150 races out of 16th place. The leaderboards were frozen, and they never unfroze. A few days later, the leaderboards were replaced by the top teams page, and I ended my last season in 18th place. Season 31 and 32 grinding. I don't remember much from this era, which is around mid-January to early April. I consistently was doing around 3,500 races and 500,000 points per week. I stayed on Nate throughout almost all this time and eventually passed everyone on the team in team races. According to me, I want season 31. Since there are only two players that anyone could think of that were a higher level than me. 
Those individuals were soon after banned. In season 32, I kind of slowed down my activity. And in this season, I finally got the Lake in Hypersport, the car for 50,000 races. Season 33, my final active season. I kicked off season 33 with a bang. I was going for a new session, but the season didn't start until 9 p.m. where I live, so I decided to start the session in the morning and continue the session into a new season. I ended around 2 a.m. with a new session record of 1,619 races. I had a one-week vacation from school coming up in one week, so I decided that that was my chance to even get into the top three for any amount of time that I could <clears throat> because I had never done that before. Even before my vacation, I picked up my pace by a lot, doing 1,700 races the weekend before my last week of school. During this weekend, I got to 75,000 races and, com and completed the police bimmer. I raced over 600 races a day on the weekdays, and on Saturday, my weekly total was around 5,000. <clears throat> which increased to around 5,800 by Sunday. And just before midnight, I was in the top three. This lasted for over a week, and over the next seven days, I would achieve 7,700 races at over 1 million points. However, I was so burnt out on the first day out of my break. I only did 100 races, and on Tuesday, I quit Nitrotype. I didn't race a single time for eight days. When I came back, I but I didn't ever break into the top ten. I immediately broke my new high speed, which was now over 150 words per minute. Over the past year or so, I have gotten certain achievements, but those five months, from mid-November 2020 up until the April of 2021, are certainly my most active and will be my most active ever. I average 525 races every single day with, with 84,000 races over 160 days. Post activity accomplishments. Even though I haven't been very active over the past year and a few months, I still got some achievements and accomplishments over that time. July of 2021 was the first time that I averaged over 120 words per minute for an entire month. In September of 2021, I got over 160 words per minute for the first time, and I also reached 100,000 races. I got the first McLaren car. In October of 2021, I showed my soccer team my NT account and my NT channel. They dared me to stream NT for 24 hours straight. I ended up streaming for 26 and a half hours and achieving a new high session. 1,812 races. In November of 2021, I reached 170 words per minute. And in December, I reached 180 words per minute. December was also the time when I was active for a little bit. And this month, I did over 11,000 races. My most active month. And my only month over 10,000 races since April of 2021. Also, I broke... I finally broke the top 10 again this month. In February of 2022, I averaged 140 words per minute for an entire month. My next goal is to reach 125,000 races, which I am very close to. At the time of writing this, I just have under 4,000 races to go. Outro. I would very much like to thank Team Nate and Nate himself for helping me find a team that I can always come back to throughout my Nitrotype career. Even though I have left and I joined the team many times, they have always accepted me back to the Nate community. I am also currently on the team as an officer. Thanks for watching everyone. So yeah, that's about it for the history of Onion. Sorry my voice kind of sounded a little raspy at the towards the middle, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and 
History of Titanium Tannins is coming out soon, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.